Yo, what is up gamers? I got a brother, my name is Abihu, and I can chuck this guy just like the Forgotten. We have insanely high speed, 2 speed, and 4 damage, a little bit higher than usual, but we don't got regular tiers. Instead, I'm gonna chuck my brother, and he's gonna explode. <laughs> It's also gonna hurt me a lot, so uh, we gotta be careful. What is in our first treasure room? We get Pisces, which is a tier rate up. Tears up, I'm pretty sure it would affect us as this character, because we can shoot normally. As you can see, if we hold, we can shoot uh, blue candle tears. Very nice. We also have a pocket active item, which I have no idea what it does. What the hell was that? Yeah, oh, whoa, that is sick. So I press my pocket active, I create an aura of flames and call my brother back to me, at which point I can just chuck him again. Very nice. So let's check this out. There's our tier rate. If I get a tier up, can I shoot a little bit faster? It really absolutely does not feel like it. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I'm crazy. We'll see. This character comes from the eco update from Eclipse. This is a new character they came out with, and I've been looking very forward to uh, trying this character out. So far, they immediately feel insanely powerful. Like, there is no denying how good this character is right off the bat. They also have the ability to not just- oh wow, can I do anything about this? Okay, he's spectral, good to know. They also have the ability to just literally explode, but then I also take damage. So if I want to use bombs, uh, I have to just hurt myself, basically. So that's where the character gets a little bit crazy. Uh, if we want to use bombs, we kind of have to demolish our own body. But other than that, strong overall, absolutely. Let's take these hearts and then uh, hit up whatever this ragman fellow is. And then how much damage are we doing on explosion? Uh, probably too much. This is a character. My health is going to deplete real fast. I can already see it happening, but that's sick. Let's do it. Why are they so fast, dude? Holy, look at me go. Whoa! What the hell was that? <laughs> you can pick up troll bombs? I've never seen that before. I, dude, my brain was not prepared for that. I, what is, th this is a crazy mechanic. <laughs> that is insane. I've never seen that before. That 100% just blew my mind. I didn't even know you could do that. You know what? I did see that the mod workshop page said that uh, this mod requires Repentagon to have. So I'm assuming that's the reason these types of things are even possible. Dude, Repentagon is crazy. Can you let me go down, please? Okie dokie, here we are. Curse of the Blind with an arcade up top. I don't got money. So I'm thinking I'll just hit the two play here because I'll probably get a fifth set. Nice. Anything nice in here? No. I'll leave it open for now, but I'll probably just end up blowing everything up in there. So what happens if I leave my brother here and I walk out here? I see he spawns at the beginning of the room. Good to know. Ouchie mama, dude. Are the explosions a little bit larger than usual or am I just a trash can? Does the move deal damage? No, it must have been the fire. Let's see. Wait, what? Really? I can't tell. It, it seemed like uh, the brother moving over closer to me actually did damage. That is very interesting indeed. Alright, can you open chests? No. Double check? Yeah, no, you absolutely cannot. That's good to know. Uh, what is our blind treasure item? Mr. Boom, well, ain't that appropriate. I am curious on whether or not the, uh, oh, wow, you just can't take bombs as this character, like, at all. Okay, good to know. Uh, whether or not the self-damage you take by pressing E, uh, counts towards deal damage. I am unsure here. What is this? Skip card. Opens all regular doors in a room. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Oh, so much money from that blood bank. You know, that crane game is looking mighty juicy, actually. Okay, well, I can already see where the character gets kind of hard. It is pretty easy to take self-damage here. Wait a second. When I used Mr. Boom just then, it immediately just put it in my hand so I could uh, toss him. This is crazy, actually. There are some unique synergies in here that I did not expect. I'm playing, like, Tainted Forgotten, but explosive mode. This is sick. If I ignite next to you, does anything happen? No, no. This just brings him closer to me. Okay, well, let's defeat Gemini really easily here. Uh, I did ignite just then and I brought him closer to me, but it felt like it did nothing. So I'm assuming that that is not actually a mechanic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It also seems like you can just throw him, and if an enemy runs into him, he'll explode anyway. So that's really good. Uh, what is our blind tears up? Again, I don't know if this is really affecting me or not. I'm not even using this. Can I Can I blow him up? No. Probably really good in case you don't want to take self-damage. You're like really, really dire, and you don't want to be taking any more risks. But the fire in general, I think it just pales in comparison to what this character can do with its utterly explosive power. They can actually get rid of these obstacles as well, which is surprising i didn't think this would be possible but as long as you aim it correctly you can excuse me there you go 
Oh, you know what? I think I actually understand at this point. Hold on, we got a cursor room item. What is it? Spike collar? I literally don't know what this is. A golden store credit's pretty funny. Uh, what does a spike collar do? Razor blade activates instead of taking damage. 1.2 damage up for the current room. Oh, the first damage taken in the room will always be for a full heart. This seems crazy with this character. Let's run it. And then I had a couple cents I wanted to plop in here. One more. Ah, I'm a loser. Here's what I think I've discovered. I'm pretty sure this character heals off of bombs. Is that what's going on? Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. Lots of tiny little mechanics that I was unsure of, but now we are learning. I am mad interested in this. Let's head down, dude. All right. Curse room. Uh, starting us off. Should I press E and, and see if it, I take the self damage? Ah, okay. So it is actual self damage. I do not lose deal chance from that. That's great to know. Part of me wanted to think that it was absolutely going to happen, but I'm very happy with the outcome. I also accidentally pressed a diagonal down right there and I was able to throw him properly. Is that is that true or was I just lucky? Oh, wow. Look at that. They uh, seem to have like a, already a passive analog associated with them. I can shoot in non-cardinal directions. What are those called? Diagonal? <laughs> yeah, that, that would make sense, actually. So, in some weird way, we have a character that plays like Tainted Forgotten, but with a birthright, and also Blue Candle, and also they heal from bombs. I am a fan of this guy. I think our major damage will be like, uh, walk in a room, boom, and then press spacebar, and then boom, and then I can also do this, and then also ignite. Like, that is crazy APM. For the amount of damage I'm getting from that, that's nasty. I'll say the one thing this character struggles with is actually actually destroying obstacles. What's in here? Pause. Um, does the pause work? No way, dude. Hold on. Would pause work and make it so all the enemies would pause even though I'm not shooting? I'm just carrying my dude around? Because I'm not actually shooting, am I? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, check you. Check this over here. That's crazy cool of a mechanic. I probably don't want to get rid of that, but I want to see how this is going to work. If I'm carrying my brother around and I do this, pause, if I shoot, Oh no, they, they reignite. Alright, alright, good to know. We'll, we'll probably just stick with the Mr. Boom then, because that's a six energy we found. Very happy to be on Flooded Caves, by the way. It's doing the part of the song that I absolutely love. I still listen to Flooded Caves music on repeat, by the way, like, just straight up. Am I losing red heart health? What is going on here? I am. Why? <laughs> I- wait, what? What's going on? Okay, hold on. We got a free shop. I'm pretty sure I should probably just take you. And then I'll blow both of these up, get more cash, heal up because I need it. And then this is actually, oh, hangman. Yeah, sure. Why not? Does this make me shoot like three fires? Oh my God. That's so cool. What the hell? That is sick. Then I'll buy the bomb because it's basically free for the extra heal. Let's move forward. Okay. What? Every synergy that I feel like is like, ah, oh, that's not going to work is actually working. Like this is crazy in depth. <laughs> this is probably a more stable way to play. At least while we have the triple shot instead of exploding ourselves every now and then explode and then back to fire. Wow. This character is sick. Dude, you see the flow chart on that? What a cool character. What about the devil room? Ass Cheekums, literally so bad, but what are you? Wait a second. I've had you recently. I'm pretty sure you're good. You make it so like purgatory spawns kind of often. Dismanibus. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that sounds cool. Some pills. We got a gold prag. Pretty useless, but a luck up's nice. And then we had PJs back here. Sure. I'm gonna do a bit of a full clear. The character feels so strong. I, I feel no fear whatsoever for just clearing out the entire floor. Also, uh, we got access to whatever this is the secret room oh it's ass never mind on to the next floor the purgatory is chaining oh <gasps> that was so cool did you guys see that what the hell i got one purgatory to go off and it procced the next purgatory and the next and it came all the way over here that is actually a really sick item before i'm pretty sure i had the item when i was really overpowered i could not appreciate it but now that i can holy that was a little bit nasty oh this holy chest is already done let's go find our treasure room Oh, okay. So while you're holding something and you get the Mr. Boom, uh, it seems to just literally drop it on the floor just like normal. So we can keep that in mind. I don't got bombs, so I got to blow myself up here. But it was worth it for all that cash. Extra deal chance as well. Let's move and uh, find more special rooms. 
At this point, I have no idea what this character can do. Because it actually seems like every single synergy I don't think is going to work is working. Like, I, uh, does Tears Up actually work? Am I crazy? I can't tell. Oh, it definitely feels like it is, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Tears Up for real. Absolutely. Okay, all right. I'm beginning to understand here. This character has access to so many different abilities. Not to mention the casual just be able to heal no matter what. <laughs> Just by simply finding some bombs? Is there a downside? <laughs> Not that every character has to have a downside. I really like the fact that this character is just straight up broken. You'll love to see it. Sack room in here. Don't need none of that. And we don't even really need keys. But I do need these mushrooms to explode. I am gonna use my mushroom. Nah, nothing. Maybe one more explosion. No. One more. It's a little scary because I don't know what my health is. Curse of the unknown moment. But I'm willing to uh, lock it in a little bit. I I'm not too afraid. I know I had that PJs on the last floor and that kind of popped off for me. I got a full heal like crazy. That... That is not where I am at. <laughs> I don't know why you thought going there was the correct direction, but you're incorrect, brother. Don't do that again, or I will be mad. I know it's a pipe dream, but like, what if, though? I might as well try. Mr. Boom really has no cooldown. I cannot believe I did not get hit there. <laughs> that was a little bit of an immaculate dodge by your boy. Maybe even borderline a little too scary. What is this bloody gem? Creates a circle of brimstone around the player for six seconds. What? <laughs> You're just giving me the best stuff ever. Okay, gimme, gimme. That is so sick. Come here. Oh, wait, it's per room. Man, all right. I thought it would last in, like, between rooms, but that would have been even more broken. Special room again? Depression? Dude, it's almost like Isaac is depressed or something. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Do I also explode? No, okay. I was about to say, I can do, like, a Jacob and Esau E thing, where I get a double bomb for the price of one. Get that safe way, buy one, get one free. Instead, I'm gonna get a tears down. So, now I really am depressed. Dude, didn't I fight both of these enemies today? <laughs> Why is it a double trouble ragman gemini? When does this ever happen? And why did I fight the exact same enemies I just fought? They were actually back for revenge. They didn't get it though. Let's see, what is our range? Yeah, it's fine. And then check the range on the blue fire. Uh, okay, now, if I pick this range up up, I go back here. Wow, an eternal heart from the mom's lipstick is unbelievably rare. Do I check you further? I can't tell. I guess I'll throw it up in editing. And what about the blue fire? I that definitely does seem like it goes farther. Okay, it probably affects the blue fire. Give me you. Uh, and then we actually have a shop. I don't know why I didn't go in there yet. I am rolling in the dough. Is it greed? No, it's just the treasure map. That's great, actually. We know that this is a luck up. We'll take the soul heart and then I'm out. Well, talk about a fun as hell character. Look how many times I've gotten hit and yet I am just mad chilling when it comes to health. It, oh my god, I will never get used to that. <laughs> That one, that one's actually wild. The fact that you can open a, like a red chest and get a super troll bomb and you're just carrying it around. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. But yeah, dude, it feels good to just play a straight up fun as hell character. Super unique too. I've never played anything like this before on the channel. I am enthralled with how this guy is playing out. Got another shop down here. Not as much money, but I'd love to get four more cents for that options question mark. One of the greatest shop items in the game, IMO. I don't think there's any debating that. You guys have seen it before a decent amount of luck and an options question mark just goes and does way too much for your run honestly it's not even like the blue candle damage is nerfed either like it's full-on blue candle damage and that is a little bit insane don't you think like blue candle was supposed to be really broken wasn't it like it, it used to be the unlock no 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 my fault my fault i was gonna say it was the unlock for 999 coins before they switched it to the stopwatch that's not what happened stopwatch has always been 999 coins blue candle exist in Red Lem. But I know that the blue candle unlock, because it was so good, it used to be something absurd. It was probably, I mean, judging by the fact that it's blue, <laughs> like a like a blue baby unlock or something. I know you had to unlock it before, and I think when Rebirth came out, I was a little surprised. I was like, wait, what? This is unlocked by default? They like changed some stuff. I'll have to look that up. I'm kind of curious. Now, Keeper's Kin was a big pickup from the treasure pool because we have access to infinite boom. Anytime we accidentally hit like a rock or something while blowing up the entire room the entire floor the entire game will get extra spider familiars to also help us out along i don't think i was mentally prepared for how sick this character might have just been
Dude, <laughs> you saw the reactions on me just then? Yeah, I'll gas myself up for that one. That was kind of sick nasty by me. Had to go and save my brother, you know? You know, what if he, he got hit by the spikes? He might have exploded. You see how flammable this guy is? You never really know. I'm going to take perfection with me. And then we're going to go devils. And then of all of these, uh, it seems like we're getting a lot of benefits from taking self-damage. So sure. And also deathless is nice. We don't need the quarter. I actually have enough money for options and we only have one more shop left. So I'll just go pick that up and be on my way. Yoinky sploinky. Death dose. What is going on? Feels kind of weird to have a character that can carry another character, but I can't, you know, chuck them through doors like Tainted Forgotten. I guess that's the only thing that doesn't feel satisfying about the character. But to be fair, if he had that, like what the hell, what, what would he not have at that point? So that I completely understand. That's not like a complaint. It's just uh, a thought I, I'd mentioned that it feels a little weird. Just something my personal mental has to get over, actually. Just genuine skill issue. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and we have locked in devil deals. I'm going to keep the Mr. Boom, though. Just for thematics, the fact that I have this synergy where I can get a bomb and chuck it whenever I want while also having a bomb that I can chuck whenever I want in the form of my own brother, that's just better for my mind. What's in here? Another crate game? I could try again, maybe. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Game kid's useless. We can double check this. Wait, oh, I, I can count. Like, okay. One, two. That seems like two and a half seconds, right? One, two and a half, right? Okay, so now pick this up. One, two and a half. All right, I have no clue. Never mind. <laughs> that was definitely the exact same, unless I am terrible about rhythm, but I don't think I'm that bad. I mean, I, I can play piano, so I feel like my rhythm has to be somewhat decent. I'm not going to be godlike like a drum player or something, but I, I can hold my own, I'd like to imagine. But I don't know, maybe I am just that bad. Speed up though and crack this guy. This is another one of them god items, but we don't need it. We'll just be moving on. This is a bit of a weird layout. Uh, you see this? I don't think I've ever seen this before, and I'm not even kidding, dude. What is this? <laughs> Why is there... Two elongated different rooms next to each other parallel, but that's it. Oh, uh, what? Has anyone seen this before? What is happening? Something weird is afoot, I am certain. What What's going on here? You know, surprisingly, despite it being a very explosive self-damaging character, literally pressing E gives you a bomb that's self-damaging. Uh, I have perfection. <laughs> that means I've done the last three floors perfectly, including this floor, which because I, you know, I've not lost it. This character is utterly broken. I'm hella into it. What's in here and what are you? Moonlighter, sell an item or pick up in target mark. What? Spawns one coin if no pickup was targeted. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I just need to use my brain for more than two seconds. Sell an item. Like you have an item and you sell it or pick up in the target mark and then you get money back. Okay, okay, cool. Well, I don't want to sell anything. I'll get the reverse moon. Hello. Oh! Let me in. Let me in. D give me give me this immediately. I'm also realizing the self damage that you take is red heart damage. That's why I was taking red heart damage. Reroll. Ocular Rift. I, I mean, it's not like I'm going to get another roll. There wasn't one in the shop, was there? Hold on, we, we can go check. I know I said I wanted Mr. Boom, but a D6 is a little bit different. Dude, Super Troll Bombs need to stop. <laughs> I don't think it helps either. The fact that like they kind of hover above your head in a weird way. So it's like, is it really on me right now? And by the time that it, it actually falls into your hands, properly you realize that it's actually about to explode within one second no there was not anything in here okay we'll take the ocular rift then and then we'll move oh well that's interesting i think the damage that you take when like actually blowing yourself up also counts as self-sacrifice damage because i definitely just got hit right then but did not lose perfection okay all right i'm with it now, despite our high amount of health, we definitely can take a lot of damage now with the double damage in play from the womb. We've been taking a lot of damage in general, so just having that be a full heart every now and then can be a bit scary. But at the same time, the damage is just so high, I don't really think it matters. Okay, that was a situation where Ignite and the blue candle what the hell was that sprite that looked so cool? That's where it was useful, you know? Like, I already chucked one of my bombs immediately, and I needed one of those eye lasers to die instantaneously. Not a single one of them could have lived any longer, otherwise I was gonna get hit and lose my perfection. That's where this button and also, you know, this regular fire can go crazy. Oh my god, that's my actual fire. I shoot this now? <gasps> is it because I have ocular rift? No, wait, this character is so cool. No way. Does it actually, like, attract enemies? How, how does it work? 
Oh my god, there's a unique sprite for it and everything. I don't even want to... <laughs> I don't want to throw my dude around anymore. I want to chuck around these fires. That's way cooler. Do, do this. Yeah, man. What the hell? Wait a second. No, the self-damage from the explosion shouldn't count as non-perfection damage. I lost my deal chance like on the first floor. I experimented with that first thing. Hey, you know what? Whatever. I'll take it. Thanks for the perfection, bucko. 100% deal chance and a very obvious boss to go bottom left. Uh, one final check on the arcade. Ah, it's fine. Nothing crazy. I think all that matters at this point is getting as far as we can all the way to the chest. And then finally applying the D6. I could have used the D6 in other areas, absolutely. But when you're this late game, you know, you get a D6 on depth 2. The only thing you really care about is secret rooms, which I don't care about as this character, because this character is sick by themselves. I don't need to rig it. And the chest with a high amount of luck and options. We've all seen it happen before, and it's about to happen again. What are you? What is that? Oh my god, that's so cool. Void Walker. Turn active items into their corresponding wisps. Okay. Oh, it's a trick. Yeah, um, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> but what's the subtext? Ghost data. This is probably a reference to something that I don't know. Hey, if you guys know, let me know. That'll be sick. I'll uh, gain some lore and culture knowledge. Oh, 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 wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, something's definitely finicky with the perfection, because I 100% just took creep damage then, and did not lose perfection. Or, I might just be the best gamer ever known. I'm gonna go with that so I gas up my own ego, but just keep in mind, don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright, what up, it lives? Yeah, I, I don't think, um, I don't think I'm actually taking damage anymore. For, for some reason, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna chuck my flames in this direction just so I can look at the pretty fires that I'm creating. That's funny that my brother actually gets attracted to the ocular rifts. And then a devil room is Dark Matter Horror of Babylon. I'm thinking we roll this. It's decent overall, but I have access to rerolls. Like, let's be real here. Death's Touch is sick. Does this turn into something cool? No, I mean, I, I don't even know what that would even turn into, so that's fair. We'll take this and go up to the cathedral. Can you get off of my face? All right, Curse of the Unknown. This is a little bit of a weirder boss to predict, but I'm pretty sure it's to the left, so let's head over there. And uh, we'll have a reroll available by the time we hit the chest, and at that point, it is completely jover. Nothing will survive. We do have a perfectly timed roll, and that kind of just makes me want to go immediately. I, I don't know why I'm keeping perfection options here, but I don't want to mess around and, like, give it up for no reason. You block shots?! Okay, dude, this character's crazy. <laughs> that is nasty. Yeah, I don't know why every time I get hit, I'm not losing perfection. But I'm not gonna, like, mosey around and, and give up what I have right now. I will take advantage of it and rig it in my favor. So let's just destroy Isaac very quickly. One final brother chuck. Oh, I didn't even need it. He just kind of, like, keeled over and died. Let's hit up this chest, dude. Okay. Oh! Dude, stop! How long- how many times recently has this been happening? Okay, I guess we'll take everything, and then if it's an active item, I'll press space bar. Oh ho 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 ho, yeah! At least that was really good. There is an active, and... Uh... Sagittarius, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so while usually I'd be like, dude, I'm blind on the chest, I hate it here. This is, um, pretty good. Like, I still have the high luck option, so I'm gonna run with it. Kane's other eye is so nasty. And, uh, it does also seem like the cricket's body works. I'm shooting way more fires now, so I'll take advantage of it. Can you open up? Nice. We got spider baby and rainbow baby. Yeah, at this point, I think I'm gonna go fire mode, because I think, you know, blowing people up is better. But the fire mode, way more fun. What is this item? Tech D6. I... I don't need this, but thank you. We did find the boss immediately, but again, we're gonna move around here. I cannot lose perfection for whatever reason. Let's just move this to our advantage. I'm not going in there until I know that chest stops moving, because I do not want to accidentally pick up the coin, dude. More chests? Dude, this is so crazy. Purity with a huge tier rate up, and we can absolutely see uh, that there's no reason to get tears up as this character. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is, but not to my knowledge. We roll the tech D6 and get Ludo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. I know it looks crazy, but I am controlling this one fire and it's very floaty, okay? Like, look how fast it accelerates. Check this out. I'm gonna tap right one time just so I can, like, show you guys what I'm going through. Tap it one time. And look, it's just going. 
Because that's how like fires work in game in the first place, I'm pretty sure. So it just goes really fast. I wonder, does it still split? That would be so sick, actually. Hold on. Split for me really quickly. Oh my goodness. Dude, I want to do a whole run with this character without even throwing my brother around. The synergies are nasty. Another one. Epo 4 is whatever. I have been getting very lucky with the items we've been getting as well. Considering I'm blind and I just have to take whatever shows up, the items that have been showing up, very nice for me. Another one. Shroom face. Wait, what? Oh, oh, there it is. I was like, what the f- <laughs> I was holding up my brother. I was like, what the hell? This item looks exactly like my brother. I was severely confused for a second there. What does it even do? While shooting every three seconds, a player farts and spawns three spores. Okay, so it's like number two, but maybe better. Actually, potentially worse because number two is really good because of the infinite bombs. But I got infinite bombs already. So yes, I'd say it's better. That is a huge black hole. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, we got it. And the item is Bomber Boy. Does this work with him? Oh my god. <laughs> Do the synergies ever end? Wait, like this character is nasty. It says boom, another synergy. Boom, another synergy. The synergies for both bomb items, tech boom, as well as regular tiers, but in a unique way. It's incredible to me. This character is designed in such a way that you get to have synergies for both types of tier effects, tier modifiers. What a day to be alive. Telepathy for dummies is bookworm. We can roll it into iron bar, which is whatever. Time it, time it, time it. Boom! Here we go. <laughs> I would have been mentally devastated if I accidentally picked up the bomb there, but we are okay. Another easy peasy fight. My damage is immaculate. Uh, should I go for this one? This one seems like a throw. <laughs> one last thing to do is actually defeat Blue Baby and get a reroll off because we can get a double roll. And we can see what kind of crazy item we can get. Come back with the fire and just plop it on Blue Baby. The melting damage is so insane. There's just no stopping this character, actually. We hit the reroll. We get Evil Eye. Nice. And that should be... Oh, did I, did I like, chuck it into myself? Dude, I'm like... <laughs> I love this. This is sick. I have such high speed that I can chuck him and pick him back up. I've always wanted to do this before as uh, Tainted and Forgotten, but the way Tainted and Forgotten chucks him is so fast, it's impossible. I love this. It feels like I'm, I'm playing like fetch with myself or something. This is sick. That was a Bihu from the Eco Eclipsed update. What a crazy character. I was not expecting the amount of synergy we were getting today and how fun the character was in general. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed and GG.